Hello everybody, today we're going to unbox the Memtech Universal 8-in-1 phone camera lens kit, take a close-up look and test it out. So let's first take a look around the outside of the box. So we've previously tested the 5-in-1 phone camera lens kit from Memtech, as well as other phone camera lens kits from other manufacturers. So this is quite a comprehensive lens kit here comprising of eight different type of lenses. So let's go ahead and open up the box. And as you can see, there appears to be six different lenses in the package. And two of them are combination lenses. So let's go ahead and remove that tray there and see what else is in the box. So there is a carry pouch here for storing the lenses in. So let's put that aside. And there's a user manual. For the 8 in 1 camera lens kit. Okay, let's also put that down. And let's go ahead and remove the protective tray cover there. And let's take a close up look at the clip. So this is the lens clip here, and it attaches directly onto your smartphone, but it also can be used for tablets and laptop PCs. And you can see there is a rubber pad or two rubber pads on the insides of the lens clip here. And you can see just how wide it can open up. Okay, so let's take a look at the lenses. Let's start with the top right one. And they all have lens caps on them to protect the lens from any scratches or marks. So let's go ahead and pop the cap open. And as you can see, on the side of the lens, it says macro, so you know exactly what lens it is. So let's go ahead and try this macro lens out. Let's put the cap back on so we can screw it on without fear of marking or smearing the lens. So just like that, we have screwed on the lens onto the clip there, just like that. So as you can see on the top band there, it says wide and macro. So this is a combination lens with the macro and wide lens attached. I should have noticed that earlier. So it is working as a wide angle lens for now. So let's go ahead and attach it onto my smartphone. So I have my usual Sony Xperia Z3 compact Android smartphone here. And it's got the Bling's Jelly Silicone TPU case on it. So let's go ahead and attach the lens onto the smartphone. And we do that by simply expanding the clip attachment 
and positioning the lens over the smartphone's lens. And of course we want to see and make sure that we've positioned it correctly by checking on the image of the smartphone. So there we go. So it's nice and attached. Let me remove the cover because you can see there is some slight shadowing or vignetting in the corners. And normally by removing the cover, it brings the lens closer to the smartphone's lens. And that way it should eliminate or minimize the vignetting. So just like that, we can see a huge improvement with the vignetting. So it's pretty much eliminated right there. Okay, so this is the wide angle lens. So it's a combination lens of the macro and wide angle. So let's see the difference with and without. So this is without. And let me bring the camera back on. and width. So width and without. And let me angle the camcorder up. So perhaps you can see it better that way. So we're two meters from the wall in front of us and you can see there is a horse figure on a stand and I'm going to remove the wide angle lens now so you can see the difference much more clearly with and without the wide angle lens. Beg your pardon again, it, the camera seems to time out very quickly. So with the wide angle lens and without. Okay, so now let's try the other lenses. Let's shift it back down to the macro lens. So we convert it back to the macro lens by simply removing the wide angle lens attachment. So it could be a bit tricky here given that there's not much grip to grab onto the two lenses to separate them but I've just managed to do that. So the top bit is the wide angle lens attachment and the bottom is the macro. So let's put the wide angle lens down and go ahead and pop the macro lens back onto the clip, just like that. So now it's working as a macro lens. And macro lenses are really good for capturing up close and very detailed images. Uh, it's great for product photography, for collectibles especially, if you've got coins or stamps or jewelry that you like to take up close. It works really good for that, giving you super sharp detail. Whereas without it, you won't be able to get as close or even get any kind of focus at such close range without the macro lens, as you can see right there. So I've got my Tudor Submariner Snowflake Marine National, and I'll just show you the difference up close like that. You can see just how sharp and close I can get to the watch there with the macro lens. And without it, I'll just remove it in a second. Let me reposition it so you can see it slightly better. Okay, so you can see just how close and large the watch details are and the clarity as well. And without it, the wristwatch now looks completely blurred and the smartphone is unable to focus at such close distances 
OK. So that's the macro lens right there. And let's try the other lenses now. So this is the... Let me screw it on and then we'll find out by popping the lens cap off. Okay, so this is the telephoto or teleconverter lens. So it will give you magnification of distant objects. So let's go ahead and pop it on to the smartphone here. So you can see just a quick difference with and without. So it's with and without. And instantly you can see the magnification. But I will angle it up in just a second once I get the positioning just about right there. Okay. So let's angle the or tilt the camcorder up. And once again, let's get the camera back on. So you can see right now the teleconverter lens is on it and it's pointing directly at the horse figurine in front. And let's go ahead and remove it. And you can see quite a massive difference with the teleconverter lens or Barlow lens there. Okay, so now let's go ahead and try the other lenses out. We've got quite a few lenses to go through, so this might be quite a long video, but there's not much I can do about it. I'll try my best. Okay, so let's go ahead and move the lens there. It's kind of separated a bit, but that's just fine. Okay, let's try now the other lens. So this is the polarizing lens or CPU filter. So let's go ahead and attach it onto the camera or smartphone here. And what it does is it gives you better contrast and color saturation with your images. So it's on right now. And let's go ahead and remove it. And it usually works better in landscape or distance uh, photography and especially in daylight or sunlight. But let's go ahead and point it up and see if we can spot any difference with it. So CPU filter or lens is on. And let's go ahead and remove it. And you can see there's a little bit of difference, but I think it's more noticeable in the outdoor daylight. So, okay, so let's go ahead and try the other lenses now. So you can see just how quickly it is or quick it is to attach these lenses. Just a few turns to screw and then screw them. So this is the fish eye lens and fish eye lenses are always quite amusing to use. Uh, they give you the super round and comprehensive shot and it's usually quite amusing as well to see uh, how things appear so you can see just in front of us what's on the table and around the table and let's go ahead and remove it so you can see just the dramatic difference that it makes with the fisheye lens 
And let's go ahead and angle it up. So you might have a better sense of perspective right there. So this is the fish eye lens. And without. So quite a big difference. And once again, quite an amusing lens to use. Okay, now let's try another lens. And this is quite a huge, huge lens here. This is the largest lens in the bunch. And this is the super wide angle lens. You can see just how big it is and the curvature of the lens right there. So let's go ahead and attach it onto the smartphone right there. And you can see once again, just how wide the shot is on the ends of the table and in front. And let's go ahead and just let it refocus again. Okay. And that's without it. So dramatic difference. And I'll just angle it up right now and point it at the horse figure in front of us. So you have a sense of the perspective with the lens right here with the super wide angle. And without. So that's really good for indoor and outdoor shots if you're trying to take a group picture without losing anybody or just a very wide outdoor landscape shot of magnificent scenery, of course. So let's put that lens down. And now let's try the super fish eye lens. So this sounds like quite an extreme lens. We've already seen what the fish eye lens can do. So this is the super fish eye lens and it appears to be a combination lens as you can see much like the wide angle lens with the macro this is a super fish eye lens with a high powered macro lens so once again a combination lens here just make sure everything's nice and tight there and a lovely looking lens there with the lens cap removed so let's go ahead and fit it right onto the smartphone. And you can see, you can even see my fingers on the side of the lens there, just like that. It's not even near to it, it's just on the side, yet it appears in the picture. Pretty remarkable. Okay, so that's pointing at the table and let's go ahead and remove it and see the difference. Uh, that's not quite it, I beg your pardon. You can see the trickery with all this timing out stuff that I have to contend with. So there with the super fish eye lens and without massive difference. And let's go ahead and point it up to the wall and horse figure right in front of us. Look at how crazy this shot is. Absolutely funny. And I have to be so careful to get my fingers out of the way because it's such an extreme lens. So that's the superfish eye lens. And without. Okay, so let's Go ahead and remove the super fish eye lens attachment. So we separate it from the very powerful macro lens that it's connected with or two. 
And we also want to be mindful of using the lens cap when we're not using the lenses to protect them from damage. Okay, so now we have the 19 times macro lens here. So apparently it's going to be much more powerful than the macro lens or the first lens that we tested earlier. So let's go ahead and put this lens on. And you can see it's blurry, but that's only because it's a macro lens. So it's intended for very, very close proximity use. So let's pick a lens cap here and see if we can get up close and get the details that are on the lens cap. So you can see just how much closer I can get into this and the clarity. Let me center the smartphone into the frame there. Incredible. Just look at that. So as mentioned before, macro lenses are really good for product photography, collectibles, jewelry, food, stamps, insects. So let's try it again, this time around, again with my watch here. And you can see just how much closer I can get this time with this more powerful macro lens. And you can see all the imperfections or age details of the wristwatch right there on the luminescence. And you can even see the print detail. So macro lenses are best used with a tripod because they are so sensitive to movement, but that's just the fun of it to actually get so close to show you things that you wouldn't normally notice with an average lens. So that's up close with the macro lens or high powered macro lens there and without, and without it, I can't get anywhere near as close while having any kind of focus. So I have to really pull it back and that's just not the same kind of shot anymore. So that's the Memtech Universal 8-in-1 phone camera lens kit. Thanks for watching and happy snapping.